This is a film of a bank alarm timer, probably made by the American Bankers Protective Association. It is uh, similar in design to their other products with an aluminum case and using an E. Howard movement. Now, often they had their own logo on the movement dial, whereas in this case, there is uh, an E. Howard and Company movement uh, installed. So what you will see here is a armature here, which is abutting the pin on this dial. So right now it is all the way wound down to zero, and this armature is pushing a spring-loaded piece all the way to the right. That piece is connected to this electrical piece here, which is then able to move either forward or backward according to the uh, movement of that armature, thus allowing these contacts to either be opened or closed. These contacts then go through eight different wires which terminate here across the top. One of the things that makes this particular uh, item somewhat unique is that all of the electrical gear is actually incorporated within the box itself whereas most of the American protective uh, uh, bank alarm timers had a much narrower box with this armature protruding through the bottom and then connecting to a separate set of uh, switch gearing electrical switch gearing. So I will now demonstrate by winding this up and in doing so I'm going to move it over this way so you can see it a little better. You now can see this armature moving a little bit to the left. And the time lock now takes off. We now have a rear view of the movement. And we're going to show a closer view of the actual mechanism that moves when this is put on guard. Right now it is on guard and this armature here which I will move from the front you can see can be is moving this piece here. Right now all of the contacts are some of the, the contacts are in the closed position when the time lock moves all the way to zero this will move all the way over and will latch this piece here thus putting the lock off guard now in order to put it on guard one has to actually energize these two coils after one has actually uh, wound the time lock up and when these two coils are, are energized this is pulled upward and allows the alarm to actually go on guard. So you really have to do two things to put it on guard. One is you have to wind the uh, time lock in order to allow this to shift over, but you also have to have this energized to pull this uh, locking device upward. And then over here on this side, are a set of screws. These two actually just simply mount the contact uh, apparatus to the to the uh, uh, side of the uh, case. And then these screws here, here, and here allow one to move the contacts opened and closed in whatever position it may be in what would normally be the on guard or off guard position. So one can do a kind of programming on this to allow certain contacts that 
could be in the armed position to be opened or closed.